Hey dads, welcome to Cooking with Cameron, coming to you on the Fathering Channel. Time to open up, time to jump into the kitchen. It's Christmas, let's make some shortbread. G'day dads, great for you to join us this week. As I said, coming up to Christmas, we start eating all those good little nibblies, don't we? And shortbread is a family favorite. So, well, let's have a go at making it. But dads, before we get into it, quick shout out, promotion, whatever you want to call it, Fathering Project is, are trying to pull together a dad joke database. So we're running a competition, five bucks, and that goes towards the donation. That just goes towards helping keep the, the ball rolling here at the Fathering Project. But look, we're throwing away, we're giving out a few, a couple of hundred dollar vouchers. So if your joke gets picked, it could end up with yourself with a hundred dollar gift voucher to spend somewhere. But anyway, dads, go to fatheringproject.org, follow the links, find it. It's on the, the dad's database. And um, throw us a joke, we'd love to hear them. One of my favourites at the moment, what does a camel do to hide? It's pretty simple, puts on its camouflage. And if you want to get a double up on that one, you then turn to the person as they look at you going, huh, and you say, you didn't see that coming, did you? You know why? Because it was wearing its camouflage. Boom! Double whammy, double J. And my daughter loves it. She's in the background watching tonight. So, because we can. Anyway, dads, let's get into it. Now, I actually started this video the other day and I was told that traditional shortbread is made on rice flour. So I made it on rice flour, put the first batch in the oven and it came out dead flat. Lost all, it was just one massive long biscuit. Not only about that thick. So I've got the McKenzie's rice flour and it actually gives us a short crust, a shortbread traditional shortbread recipe on the back of it. So we're gonna follow that one and it's got plain flour. But we're actually gonna use a bit of gluten-free flour because my family, few people can't do gluten. So we're doing that. So we're gonna follow a recipe. Shh, don't tell anyone. Right here, so to start off with, we need to weigh out some stuff and measure out some stuff. So we want 225 grams of butter. That's a 500 gram block, so about half of that. We're going to be beating it to make it smooth. If you've got time, let it leave it. Just leave it on the bench and let it come to room temperature. It just helps the machine out. So this shouldn't take long. This should only take about thirty seconds. Ready? Right so that butter's nicely. Now we're going to add. Just slowly add in the flour. Oh, the caster sugar. So now we're going to add, we've got a, the recipe says 115 grams of rice flour, 200, 225 grams plain flour. Now I gave the small bowl out. So I've got 150. So I've still got to add another 75. So we'll just, just slowly add this into the mix. Right here, dads, it's, it's a pretty heavy looking batter. Should be on the drier side. It, yeah, it still will be not moist, but it's just a little bit on the drier side. Now what we want to do is just to help it come together a bit more. We're gonna put it back in this mix in the fridge. I'm just gonna wrap it up in cling wrap. Put it in the fridge for a half hour and it will start to firm up so that when we cut the cookies, they'll stay in shape. Ready, Dad? Talk to you in a half hour. Ready, right Dad. We're back into it. It's been half hour. And the one thing I learned doing the other day 
So you gotta work fairly quickly because we want this to stay firm so that when you cut it and you pick it up and move it, it doesn't go so soft and squishy. So we'll just put it down here in between some baking paper. You could just put it in a, a rectangular tray, just slab it out into that. Then once it's cooked, slice it up into biscuits. Or you can do what we're doing today. We're gonna go, got some cookie cutters. So we've got our snowman, we've got a star, Chrissy tree, shooting star, and a funny sort of Christmas tree, another Christmas tree. There we have it. Nice and easy. The last one can just be a blob. Well, there you have it, dads. Some gingerbreads. Now, you can put some sprinkles or something on them now. I'm gonna put them in the oven. When I pull them out, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of, uh, of caster sugar on the top there, just to give it a little bit of flavor and some extra sweetness. You know, dads, that's going in the oven for 15 minutes. We're ready, right dads. They've been in the oven for the 15 minutes. They've sort of got a little bit flat. I don't know. As I said, it's only like the second time I've made them. And the first time, well, they didn't really come out that great either. But let's have a go. Let's just put a bit of sprinkle on the top, a bit of sugar. Let them cool. And we'll sit down and have a couple with them. But that won't be the fruit, maybe an hour or so. Anyway, dads, get in the kitchen, have a go at making some shortbread for the family. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to put them aside. Over to you. Until next time, dads, keep being great dads. Well, dads, they've cooled down, so we better try them. Nice and crumbly. Oh, they're, they're really yummy. You might want to have a, a coffee with you, because they're pretty dry. Anyway, dads, keep being great dads.